What is up guys and welcome to a new video on Chris Nocetic Fane. Today I will react to, as you can see, Color Kids react to Nirvana in a tarot, but the clip is actually called, he sent me the link, Nirvana react to in a tarot critics. And uh, I think it's really uh, interesting. I think I already have seen uh, before, for many years ago. So let's try to take a look on this. Okay guys, here the video is, and uh, as you can see, a lot of views. That's uh, amazing, and uh, many likes, so I think the video is very good. Um, so let's take a look on it and uh, see what we can find out. Anna, produced for the most part by Chicago noise rock king Steve Albini, in utero sounds nothing like a record made by millionaire rock stars, whatever the band member's current financial status may be. But what does the real world make of this album? Mm. Well, we took some copies to a college campus in New York City and asked some students for critical feedback. Here's the verdict. Are you a fan of Nirvana? Sure. Yes, I am. Good. What do you like about them? Just the, the way that they're not uh, into what everybody else is into. You know, they just sort of do their own thing. I respect that on anybody. Are you a Nirvana fan? Oh. Nirvana. Nirvana? Yeah. What's that? You've never heard of Nirvana? No, I haven't. No. What kind of music do you listen to? I usually listen to club music. Did you know that they have a new album out? Yeah. I know. I haven't heard it though. Could you take this home and listen to it and then come back What's tomorrow the? at the same time and tell me what you think? Sure. All right. Look. Yeah, no problem. Sure. I work here, so I'm here every day. I'd love to. Oh, very easy. Tell me, how did you like In Utero? Oh, it was great. It was really good. So very similar to the first album. And I got a couple songs that you know, would be playing on the radio. are going to be hits. Uh, third track, I think. Yeah. Hot Shape sure. Box will probably be of on course. MTV or something. Great song. And I liked uh, the ninth track, Penny Royal Tea, which I really thought was good. That's good there are a couple too. songs that I could listen to and I enjoyed the, the music too. Underrated as yes. hell, man. I really like them. Good. Really underrated. A lot of the lyrics I thought were just thrown in. I mean, uh, it, they could have deeper meaning, and I tried to really analyze them. But some of these lyrics just seem like, I think if I was stoned when I when I listened to it, I might have liked it better. But I don't do that anymore. I listened to some of it. The first couple of songs were pretty good. The fourth song, Rate Me, I was not too happy with that song. Come <laughs> on. Kind of offensive. I don't understand it, man. He was against Rape. I prefer the beginning part of the album, especially Rape Me. Rape Me. Rape me was just a, that's just like uh, I think they just they want controversy with that song because all it is it, it had no real meaning to it I thought other than it was just really uh, blatant and, and loud. Dumb was really good. Uh, Rape me was really good and Hot Sheet Box is excellent. Yeah, many like Hot Sheet Box. Favorite song. All of them had high tempo, especially the beginning of the album. All of them were great, and then they mellowed out around the middle. Then they, at the end, it hypes you back up again. Perfect arrangement on it, also. Scentless Apprentice was good. I think they should open with Scentless Apprentice. Francis Farmer will have a revenge on Seattle was also good, but I don't know who Francis Farmer is. I think if I knew who Francis Farmer was or what that meant, I would enjoy it more. Would you recommend it to your friends? Stone sure, definitely. If they have the first album, they'll enjoy this one. It was pretty good. It's not what I usually listen to, but I'd listen to it again. Nirvana. Buy it. Get it. Can I get another one? Good advice. Nirvana will be starting a U.S. tour next month. Do try to catch them. In Washington, meanwhile, the band out of court. With their faces currently gracing the covers of more than half a dozen magazines right now, Nirvana is back on the scene in a major way. The band's new album, In Utero, will debut at number one on next week's Billboard chart. And when the lads passed through New York City last week, they stopped by the MTV studios to talk about the record and to talk about some of the things fans have been saying about it on MTV News. And here they are. <laughs> A lot of the lyrics I thought were just thrown in. I mean, I, it, they could have deeper meaning, and I tried to really analyze them. But some of these lyrics just seemed like I think if I was stoned when I when I listened to it, I might like it better. But I don't do that anymore. That's it. <laughs> I'm in college. It's target marketing. The first couple of songs were pretty good. The fourth song, "Rate Me," I was not too happy with that song. I found it kind of offensive. Yeah. Anti 
I'm gonna repeat that, anti-rape song. Um, I don't know, I just thought, I got tired of people thinking, trying to put too much meaning into my lyrics, you know, it's being too, uh, not making no sense, you know, so I decided uh, to be really blunt and bold. Yeah. Exactly. But we had an idea of a, of a sound that we've been wanting for a long time, you know, because of Steve Albini's production from a lot of other bands like Breeders and the Pixies and stuff like that. It's just it's just that sound that we really like. We thought that sound it's so natural and real, and it has a, it has a really beautiful ambience to it. Yep. The sound is much better than Nevermind. On the on a record it says My recorded opinion. by. It doesn't say produced by. That's the ethic. He's like. Not the sound. It's just the. Yeah. I really yeah, like it. Him two million dollars. That's <laughs> true. Up until now, Kurt Cobain has been the musical force behind Nirvana, writing all the music and lyrics to their songs. But for the track Scentless Apprentice on their new album, all three members collaborated for the very first time. Is this a trend that will continue? Hell yes. It takes the pressure off of me. Um, Dave came up with the drum beat. Yeah. And we just built the song off of the drum. And the riff, yeah. yeah. He came up with the drum beat and then he He's showed me the great riff. Musician. You know? And it was really simple and, and we thought, well, this, this could work. And, and I was thinking, oh, this is kind of bonehead. You know? And then I thought, oh, we'll work on it. And then it, and it turned out great. And now I'm excited about it because now we can write together even more. You know, we're really passive aggressive people. I don't like to you know, hmm. complain to each other very often. And that's probably why we survived. We should go into the therapy, therapy all of us. Sit down with this therapist. No way. We should just bitch about each other in, in yeah. articles, you know, separately. Yeah, read the book. Yeah. <laughs> read the book, I know, yeah. Nirvana's authorized book, Come As You Are, filled with intimate details of the trio and their rise to the top, is just as revealing to the band as it is to their fans. I learned a lot from that book. Yeah. <laughs> well, I learned back. a lot from almost, you know, the first two chapters, mm -hmm. but I should just shut up sometimes. <laughs> Nirvana, a great record, but you've got to see them live. The band will start a U.S. tour at the Arizona State Fair in Phoenix on October 18th, then move... Yeah, wish I could see them live. Okay, I think I have to say something about this. I was a bit quiet because I was like, okay, they talk very much and I have to listen closely to get all of it. Okay, so we first see hold it uh, together uh, the, the clips where they talk about it. It's like critics, but it's not that much, but yeah, a little bit. Namely her, but um, and they're defending it, kind of defending it, but not really much. Yeah, I know. Never mind, it was m much more popular and smells like Teen Spirit, come as you are. Uh, Polly was uh, one of their um, top songs. Uh, only uh, Heart Shaped Box was, uh, I guess, top song from uh, Nintero, but whatever, man. Uh, that's so rude because when you made one of the, I think, the best album in the 19s, uh, never mind, then after you make another one, it will be. Uh, not it will not be uh, as the the same one uh, because uh, and we all know he didn't like it really much the sound some of the songs drain you he really liked drain you drain you was great it was one of my favorite from never mind too it's really really good and there is a lot of uh, guitars backing tracks some something and the uh, Bohemian Rhapsody section, as they call it, uh, in the middle is amazing. But um, in the tour, I have so many good songs too. I really like, as I said, Milke, uh, Gallons of Alcohol Through the Strip uh, is also amazing. All Apologies, all the songs is good. I don't think this is so critical as I thought it would be, but... Um, I know, never mind, was more popular, sold more, but whatever, could never wanted to be popular and to be the number one. He just wants to play his music uh, in his way. 
underground music, uh, punk rock, grunge, whatever. He don't want to be famous. Uh, and that's uh, a shame because he was so good, but I understand him. And that's maybe why we all respect him, because he was so shy and nice. Rape me. Yeah, come on. He will never sing about women raped or uh, like uh, other people uh, do um, in their song. Um, woman, 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 love, love, love. He was more personal. I really like his lyrics in also in in Otero's songs. Also more than Hardship Box. Milgitz is really great and uh, All Apologies, yes, it's to Courtney Love, whatever. It's still a really good song. Uh, Frances uh, Famer will have her rent on Seattle. It's a great song to the lyrics. Uh, yeah, to read is it's not that good uh, lyrics. I still really love the power of the song. Um, yeah, I don't think I have to explain much more about it. Uh, that was uh, interesting to watch and. Um, I just f- will uh, ask you if you can make more. Uh, uh, challenge uh, reacting something below here and uh, of course for free to um, make your opinion about this about my opinion if you have something to tell me something you're against or up to whatever and uh, of course we will see you in the next video guys and uh, have a good time bye